welcome to Alpha Military TV. Thanks very much for tuning in once again and seeing what we're up to. Now, if you like a good chat about air guns, and let's face it, who doesn't, then you might want to check out our Discord channel. The detail, details are below. And if you'd like to support the channel in another way, you can do so by buying us a coffee. And again, the details are down below. Now, <clears throat> our review today is of a another gas ram rifle. It is the BSA GRT Lightning XL SE. This rifle that you see before me here. Um, now they also do a, a spring powered version of this rifle, but this is the gas round version. So instead of a, a mainspring, it has a, uh, a, a contained chamber of gas, uh, air basically, um, that when you cock the rifle is compressed. And then when you pull the trigger, that air expands again, and that provides the energy to propel a pellet down the barrel and out the end. <clears throat> now the two versions of this rifle, they are essentially the same rifle, they're more cosmetic changes. Um, the XL SE, which is this rifle, is available either with this very handsome beach uh, stock, or you can get it with a black tactical sort of uh, soft touch uh, stock as well. And it has this full length silencer. The SE model is only available in a beach stock, the checkering pattern is slightly different and it has a, a different silencer setup. It's a much shorter, more sort of traditional length silencer. The XL SC model, this one here, retails from around about £320 and the SE model retails for about £300. But it is worth shopping around, to be honest. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run through the rifle as we usually do from back to front. We'll call out some of the key features. We'll talk about the way to cock it and load it. Not that there's any great surprises there. And then we'll end up on the range and see how it shoots. So the Lightning XL SE and the standard SE models are both 950 millimeters long and they have a 370 millimeter barrel. And they weigh around, around about the same as well at about three kilos, which makes them pretty light and pretty compact too. Now, when it comes to making attractive sporter stock, traditional sporter stock rifles, BSA is the best in the game as far as I'm concerned. They just have this knack of turning out really lovely looking rifles and, and this rifle is no exception. Now, starting at the back, there is this uh, perforated shoulder pad. It looks like it should be squishy, but it's actually quite firm and it's finished off with a black spacer as well. Now, because this is a, a, a gas ram rifle, there is a little bit of reco recoil on it not excessive by any stretch of the imagination, but that uh, that shoulder pad will help absorb that to an extent. The rifle is also completely ambidextrous, so you have a, a cheek piece on this side as well as on this side as well, and you have a couple of BSA logos, the Piled Arms logos, uh, stamped into the stock either side as well. The pistol grip is nice and large, you know, it's nice and swollen, fits the hand really, really well. And there's a, a dimple, a little cutout at the top here, which encourages you to um, hold it in a, a, a thumb up grip if you wish to. If you want to hold it with a wraparound grip, no reason why you can't do that either. Um, just makes it very, very comfortable to do that. Now the, the trigger guard and the trigger, they're not plastic. Um, neither are they um, the kind of metal that a magnet will attach to. So I'm guessing it's some kind of alloy but the, the trigger blade itself is not is quite steeply curved. Um, is it has some sort of contour on the front of it as well, and is very comfortable in the, in the finger. It's quite it's quite a broad blade, and the trigger itself is two stages. Um, and I really like the trigger on this. That the transition between the two is very defined, and the weight on both stages is really really good as well. It is adjustable. Uh, you make some adjustment up here and there's a slot in the trigger guard here for you to access that. Now moving down the rifle, you have a little bit of a sort of a, a swoopy um, groove here, which yeah, just adds to the aesthetics of the rifle. And then it tapers gradually to the end of the forehand, forehand where you have these two additional patches of, uh, of checkering, which match the design on the pistol grip. Now on top, the safety catch is located on the right hand side of the rifle. It's the only part of the rifle that I guess you could say is uh, biased to, you know, to right handers. You, in, in the rear position, the gun is safe and then push it forward, the gun is live. And that is resettable. It doesn't come on when you cock the rifle, but it is resettable. 
And on top of that, you have a set of uh, dovetail grooves underneath here. And then the rifle also comes with this sort of raised dovetail groove as well, um, dovetail mount as well. I'm not quite sure why that is, um, but it does mean that you can use, you know, medium mounts, low mounts, or if you wanted to, you could take this rail off uh, completely and mount your scope directly to the, the top of the action in the grooves here. Now, the breech down here locks up really, really tightly. Um, on any brake bar rifle, the breech is the potential Achilles heel. Any play in the, the transition between the, the barrel and the action is going to lead to inaccuracy. The, the, the Lightning XLSE locks up really, really tightly, and there's no sense of any play in it whatsoever. Now, the barrel is, is actually quite short, what, 370 millimeters, but it cocks really quite easily. Now, you're not um, coiling a spring or compressing a spring, obviously, with a gas ram rifle. All you're doing is compressing that chamber of air. So there's no mechanicals or very little in the way of mechanicals to actually be compressed. So the stroke itself is quite smooth and you know, it's, it's certainly no harder than any other gas round to cock in my experience, despite that barrel being quite short. Now on the front on this XL SE model, you have this sort of full length silencer, which does a pretty good job actually of, of muting down the muzzle report. But if you, pref if you want to, you can actually remove the very end cap like so, and that reveals a half inch UNF thread that you can attach uh, another silencer to. So those I think are the key features on the rifle. What we'll do now is we'll zoom in on those in close up, and then we will go through the cocking process, not that there's much to that, and then we'll end up on the range. Now there's no special technique or secret to cocking the GRT Lightning XL SE. It's exactly the same as pretty much most other brake barrels to be perfectly honest. Now um, the process that I always advocate going through is to first of all make sure the rifle is, in this, is safe, so pull that safety catch back. And then as a right hander, obviously if, if you're left handed it's the other way around, but as a right hander just tuck the butt into the top of your right thigh, grip the rifle at the fore end with your right hand and then just give the barrel a light tap to break the action. Now the rifle is not cocked at this stage. All you've done is broken the action at the breech. And to be honest, because the barrel is not under any kind of tension, you can put a pellet in the, in the end of the breech at this stage before you fully cock the rifle. Or to cock the rifle, you simply pull it all the way back and then you can load a pellet at that stage. Now, although the safety catch does not come on automatically on this rifle, there is a feature called an anti-bear trap. And if I just take the safety off for a second, um, now the anti-bear trap prevents the barrel flying up if I was to accidentally pull the trigger for some reason. Um, and that's obviously designed to protect your fingers and any kind of accident happening. Now, that's a great feature, it really, really is. But, you know, these things do fail from, from time to time. It's very rare that they do, but you don't want to be the one person, you know, that proves the, uh, the exception to the rule. So I always suggest to people that whenever they're um, cocking a, a brake barrel rifle, especially if they're going to insert pellets at this stage, they keep a hold of the end of the barrel um, so that if the, the anti-bear trap does give way, you've still got that added security of being able to hold onto the barrel. Now, with the um, once you've loaded a pellet and you're ready to go, just return the, the, the barrel. As I said before, locks up very, very securely as well. Now, the reason why I put the safety catch on at the start of the whole cocking process is that once you've returned the barrel, the rifle is still safe because you put the safety catch on. If you didn't do that, as soon as you return the barrel and you kind of got ready to shoot, you're doing all of that with the rifle in a live state. So 
put the safety catch on first then you can move it around do whatever you want to do and then when you're finally ready to take your shot then you can take the safety catch off so that's a quick rundown on the bsa grt lightning xl se what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pop a scope on it take it down the range see how it shoots well as promised i'm down at the wonderful surroundings of reading air target shooting club once again to give the bsa grt lightning xl se a bit of a shoot on the range. Now I set a target out at 30 meters and I'm using Air Arms Diablo Fill pellets. These are the 4.52177 size. So let's see how we get on. You know what, despite this very short barrel and it being a full powered rifle, it's very easy to cock. Last one. Well, let's go and take a look at the target. Well, that's uh, you know, quite impressed with that. That's 10 shots at 30 meters with air arms Dablo filled. 177 pellets 4.52 size and i would say probably you would have ragged one whole group there and one just to the side i probably pulled that but that main group is yeah kind of fingernail size obviously a little bit high i need to adjust the scope down a little bit but uh yeah no that's very impressive well there you go that is the bsa lightning grt xl se i'm sure you'll agree it's a really handsome looking rifle shoots well as well uh, and on the chronograph it, chronograph, it was putting out just over 11 foot pounds, which is fine. Now, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please hit the like button. And don't forget to check out our website, alphamilitaria.com. Thanks for watching.